Hello, I am Fantastic and Fantastic, and say playing through Vidar Descended with my new Torragon team. So, the idea is I need to match color crosses, and in doing so, I'll be able to deal tremendously large amounts of damage. But, at the same time, I'm a Glass Cannon. I have Cloud and Tape Resist naturally on my team, so I'm good to go. Go. Got all my crosses. Got some cascades. We are good to go. Just damage. Damage. Lots of damage. Oh my goodness. I did not put the rush this time to buff. Forgot this white horse is here. Overwrite time debuffs. Clearly get too focused on what's not important. Only need really two crosses, I feel, to kill most things. Obviously, later floors I should do more, but A10 is kind of like just damage, damage, damage. Ah, Jesus Christ, that's the only drawback of like. That this approach, I can get skyfalled into unfortunateness. But at the same time, I guess the multipliers are so high still, and well, A10 just deals damn pitch. Is the easiest way to put it. Yomi has a buff, well, awoken by and clear, so they're going to be used here. Big money, big money, and you're very good. Alright, let's keep this up. Woo! Big preemptive. Thank goodness I got just enough health to take everything. And the best part is, even if I do fail this dungeon, well, you're not going to see it on YouTube, but it also means... Oh, I did that wrong. If I mess up, it's zero stamina anyway, so it's actually not that big of a deal. I will have to probably use board changes the way to be poisoned eventually. I can match three. Not too bad. Oh! That was considerate. That actually helped. <laughs> I think three crosses is probably excessive. I'm just going to go out on the limb and say that was excessive because I see like lots of damage cap numbers from killers. Alright, here we come. Let's take a look. Horus says no. Oh, whoops. That is not how I did. I was trying to break up a different one. Whoops. Okay. Uh, blue, green, purple are friends.
Oh, that's not any color whatsoever. That's okay. I'm playing kind of a glass cannon leader, but at the same time I do have, I guess, some fortune. Necessary? Probably not. Ah, oh, wow, that's a row of water, but that's cool. <laughs> Just trying to avoid that. On the bright side, combos. On the bright side, it's death. On the drawback side, it has resolved, so let's fix that. Okay. New plan of action. New plan of action, indeed. I know I missed a cross there, but it's okay, because I feel like excessively crossing is well, as I said, excessive. There we go, follow-up attack. I don't have a follow-up attack on the whole team. Oh my goodness. But, <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Like, you know, that is actually good to know. Like, I don't actually need to do anything else other than uh, hit the guy because he will not actually hurt me. That's interesting to know. And I get bonus combos here anyways, so it's going to die. Good to know. So, that's one nice thing about Zero Stamina. You can play around with weird and or sillier teams, and you still can be having fun. I have no idea how I'm going to cross on bigger boards, though. I only kind of know how to do smaller boards. It's like I memorized one pattern. Alrighty. Let's use Torragon to get a board of like just colors, and Yomi to put the enhance and all that jazz. Alright. I don't know how to make crosses on big boards. It's gonna look much less pretty by comparison. But at the same time, I should be okay because I believe in myself. Yeah, that's damage cap, I think. It, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure why I'm too weird. Okay, so that was pretty fun. Like, I enjoyed that. This is probably what I'll do if I want to play this dungeon. Like, I like Zero Stamina Monthly Quests because you're allowed to fool around with silly teams and it can work or it doesn't work. Obviously, if you want to do that, maybe bring follow-up attack. It would be a little bit better. But on the bright side, it's a nice way to acquire some Vidars with Torragon if you have the Rainbow Event Mouse to spare. So, hopefully this video provides you some insight as to what you can do for this dungeon. Glass Cannon teams are really the way to go, and bringing the Fall of Attack would be smart, I feel, and also, you know, just being aware that there's a resolve on some floors would help, but at the same time, I realize he doesn't actually kill you, he just let, sits at the end of resolve and nothing happens. So, either way, hopefully you all have a fantastic day. I wish you all the best luck in your own pad adventures, and happy puzzling.